information you want. Have questions? We'll get you answers. Call our tip line. Welcome back to the Dow and the NASDAQ as we take a quick look at stocks now, both closing up on the day. The Dow up 83, NASDAQ up just about 35. Time check right now is 445. Planned Parenthood says it has received more than 400 thousand dollars from 6,000 donors in the 24 hours since news broke about it losing grants for breast cancer screenings from the Susan G. Komen for the Cure Breast Cancer Foundation. Planned Parenthood says the Dallas-based Komen organization cut off funding as a result of pressure from anti-abortion activists. Komen says they have a new policy that prohibits funding to groups under investigation. Planned Parenthood is currently under investigation by a Republican-controlled congressional committee. It's 4.45 now. A hearing is set today to possibly delay the trial of Army psychiatrist Nadal Malik Hassan. A military judge will consider a request from his attorneys in the 2009 Fort Hood shooting rampage case. Hassan's charged with 13 counts of premeditated murder and 32 counts of attempted murder. He could face the death penalty. The end of the war in Afghanistan could soon be next year. The United States and NATO will end their combat mission in 2012. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta said Wednesday the goal is to transition from a combat role in Afghanistan to a training role, hopefully in mid to latter part of next year. The Obama administration had set a deadline of 2014. <laughs> With soldiers returning from overseas, they're taking over jobs that were farmed out to civilians while troops were deployed. And today's Austin salutes a look at the ammo supply point at Fort Hood. Since 2003, when both Iraq and Afghanistan were going on, civilian contractors were the ones sorting ammunition, giving it out to other soldiers, and storing it. Well, now the 664 Ordnance Company is taking over and having to learn a thing or two about how well their replacements ran the ASP while they were gone. Um, so this is a big opportunity for us to come back, kind of pick up where we left off. But I, I have to say the civilians have really left big shoes to fill because this is, what, I mean, this is the best run ASP in CONUS. Well, if you would like to profile your special service member here on Austin Salutes, we'd love to do that. Email us. It's really simple. Go to austinsalutes at kxan.com. Traffic and weather together all morning long. Natalie mm -hmm. Stoll following kind of a typical morning as far as very similar to yesterday. Right. And the day before. And the day before. Yeah, we already Except had that. Yesterday and the day before, we didn't have the meteor shooting across the sky. We'll <laughs> show you some video of that. was it Groundhog Day. Yeah, right. Exactly. It's just a special huh. day. It's just, it's just a special, special Thursday, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, we do have a dense fog advisory, though, to tell you about this morning. It's similar to yesterday and Tuesday, where we'll have visibilities less than a quarter mile, especially in our metro county and eastern counties. That advisory goes until about 10 a.m. Uh, current visibility is not too bad, especially in the hill country here in Austin and in Georgetown. We still have clear uh, conditions, but in our eastern counties, that's where the visibilities have been reduced. So give yourself a little extra time. If you're in places like Giddings, Bastrop, even Lockhart, your visibility is down to around five miles. All right, temperatures are very mild in our eastern counties. Their cloud cover has moved in more quickly. So 60 right now in Bastrop, 57 in Giddings. The hill country, you've seen clearer skies longer this morning, so a little cooler there. 46 in Llano, 46 in Fredericksburg. Here in Austin, we're sitting at 58 right now. Uh, still starting to, still seeing some of that clear sky between the clouds. Clouds, but those clouds are going to become very thick before the sun comes up. Very calm wind conditions currently. Across the state, you can see that cloud cover building from the coast and back. Uh, we have a weak boundary kind of set right over central Texas right now. Uh, that's going to lift further north today as a warm front. So temperatures this afternoon, even with extra cloud cover, are still expected to stay in the 70s. It's going to be another very pleasant afternoon. Uh, we are, though, tracking our next chance for rain. Area of low pressure off over California. That's going to uh, roll in tonight tomorrow and finally pull out by Saturday. That's going to push a cold front through. That'll give us really our best chance for a little wet weather. Hour by hour through our forecast, it looks like this. Uh, this afternoon, we're looking at uh, mostly cloudy skies. A chance for a shower or two, not out of the question, especially across our eastern counties. Uh, so just be aware of that later on today. That front this evening is going to be well out toward west, not even in west Texas just yet. Tomorrow morning, again, more cloud cover, fog, a chance for rain increasing through the day on your Friday. By Friday evening, that front sitting up just west of our hill country counties. So overnight, best chances for rain into Saturday. 
Saturday morning. Looks like the strongest storms are going to stay just to our north over north Texas. We could see uh, a heavier thunderstorm, though, roll through. Rain amounts with this system, one to two inches of rain possible over our eastern counties, less than an inch over the hill country. All right, today, here's what you can expect. 76 degrees with that chance for a shower or two. Tonight, dropping down to 62. Your first morning weather and traffic comes together every 10 minutes. All right, well, let's give you the latest now at 10 minutes in front of the hour. It has looked pretty good this morning, and now we're looking at Mopac near far west. Just had some construction lingering around at the familiar spots. Volumes are low. Everybody moving along at posted speeds. No wet weather and just that fog to contend with. It's going to be in some areas. We'll keep an eye on your traffic for you throughout the morning. In case you didn't know, it's Groundhog Day. That's right. So later on this morning, you know, Punxsutawney Phil, the world's most famous predictor of weather, and this is a live yeah, I always enjoy video this. there. Mm -hmm. It's such a celebration. Yeah, he either fun, sees his shadow or he doesn't. This marks the 126th year Phil will make his prediction from Gobbler's Knob in central Pennsylvania. Legend goes if Phil sees his shadow, you expect another six weeks of winter. And so all night long and really all morning until he comes out, they just dance and sing, and mm -hmm. it's a big old celebration. They have a good time at Gobbler's Knob. Here's the thing, too, is we'll try to time it to see if Punxsutawney <laughs> Phil uh, sees his shadow or not and bring it to you live, but you, we probably won't get it. No. Because they're never on time. They sit there and do that declaration for like three hours, and they read from the big thing, and <laughs> we'll try to time it for you, see if we can get it. Right. Yeah, you'll have to watch to see if he comes out while you're watching. Don't keep your fingers crossed. All right, still to come, you want to see how you make some gre someone green with envy. Let's see. We've got an exclusive, oh, this is cool, yeah. behind-the-scenes look at Wicked right here in Austin. Plus, Kate is live for us this morning. Hi, Kate. Hey, good morning. Well, if you were up last night around 8 o'clock, you may have seen quite the sight in the sky. Apparently, a meteor went through our atmosphere. We will show you the pictures of what it looked like. You can see it right there when we come back. It was a day to celebrate for high school football recruits on Wednesday, National Signing Day. We'll hear from a number of future Longhorns and head coach Mac Brown coming up. For jail release, call 777-7777. Behind the wheel and solve a fun puzzle. I've got it. Live music capital of the world. That's right. Watch Wheel of Fortune weeknights at 6:30. Right here on KXAN. Game on, Austin. Vowels, get your vowels here. Vowels. Why are so many folks in Central Texas buying their pre-owned inventory at Capital Kia Pre-owned? Quite simply, you can buy with confidence. You know, every vehicle we sell, folks, has a five-day money-back guarantee and comes with a free warranty, so you can buy with confidence. You're going to find virtually every make and model. You're going to find 300s, Chargers, Sebring, Sebring Convertibles, Ford, Chevys, Dodges, Imports. Payments as low as $139 a month. That's why so many are shopping here. If it doesn't say Capital Kia Pre-Owned, you probably paid too much. What's causing the country to lose their crackers and elect nitwits? Will riots cause the country's collapse? Hello, I'm Sebastian Gibson, the author of Nitwit Hill. Clowns and turkeys have taken over Congress, and the nitwits in Washington can't accomplish anything. Will one more clown in Congress make any difference? Will we be better off with some real turkeys instead of those clowns? Or are nitwits destined to run Washington? Nitwit Hill, one of the year's funniest books, available everywhere as an e-book or paperback. Buy it today for your favorite nitwit. You know, the truth is that what we want people to know is, you know, we can help you, um, and we want to help you, and we want to make a difference in your life. All we want to do is find out what the truth is. When you can do something that has a direct result on a child and made that family a little safer, let that family know that KXAN was listening a little bit to their problems, that's more rewarding. And, you know, that child's living conditions are a little better because they decided to call KXAN. From the city that never sleeps. This is New York, the Big Easy. To a town that's barely awake. Scranton quickly became one of Pennsylvania's largest anthracite coal mining communities. Don't miss The Office. The Office where everyone clips their toenails. And 30 Rock. Founded, of course, by Theodore Rockefeller. And get ready to party five nights a week. There ain't no party like a Scranton party, because a Scranton party don't stop. There ain't no party like a Liz Lemon party, because a Liz Lemon party is mandatory. 30 Rock and The Office. Weeknights on The CW Austin.
Email us at investigates at kxan.com. Good morning to you. What a day yesterday. High school football players all over the nation signing their letters of intent. A celebration before reality when they get to the programs and suddenly they're just <laughs> fighting to make a name for themselves. Shiro Davis from Louisiana surprised a lot of people picking Texas yesterday over LSU along with Alabama. Jonathan Gray, no